So today we're going to be writing equations for parabolas. Now, before we start, the first thing you have to know is the basic parabola has an equation y equals x squared. And that's what I've shown you right here. Now notice a couple things about the basic parabola. The vertex of the basic parabola is at 0, 0. And it follows this shape and has points kind of spaced out exactly like this. See, the first one's up 1, the next one's up 3, the next one's up 5. It follows that pattern, and it's symmetrical on both sides, OK? Now, when we have other parabolas, in order to write an equation for it, you have to look for three things, OK? The two easiest things are, how much is that vertex shifted, all right? So that vertex, that point right there at the tip of the parabola, how much is it shifted horizontally, side to side? How much is it shifted vertically up and down? All right, And that's what's going to affect this part of our equation. If it's moved to the right, we're going to subtract from x inside the parentheses. If it's shifted to the left, we are instead of subtracting, we're going to add to x. Similarly, if we move the parabola up, we're going to add at the end of the equation. But if we shift it down, we're going to subtract at the end of the equation. All right. The last thing you have to pay attention to when writing the equation is the vertical stretch. So we talked about the shape of this parabola. But if it's stretched upward, that means it's got a number in front of the parentheses to stretch it. It's kind of the scale factor for what we're stretching it by. Now, if it's shrunken down, it's going to be a fraction. It's going to be between 0 and 1. But if it's stretched up, it's going to be bigger than 1. And then finally, if it's upside down completely, then this is going to be negative. All right, so there's basically three things we're looking for when we're writing these equations. So let's do a couple of examples. All right, so we'll start with this one right here. Now notice, this one is basically the exact same shape and size of a normal parabola, except instead of the vertex being at 0, 0, it's been slid over to the right four steps and then down three. All right, so if you imagine here's our basic parabola, we've just shifted it over and down. And now we have the exact same parabola. So for our equation, y equals, we know there's no vertical stretch, so we don't have to worry about a number in front of the parentheses, but we're shifting it to the right four units, so we're going to do x minus 4 squared. Now we're also shifting it down 3, so at the end of this equation, we're going to minus 3. There's your equation. All right? Let's do another one. This one right here. Again, it looks like the same shape and size as the original parabola, except instead of having the vertex at the origin, we've shifted to the left six units and then up to all right, so you imagine here's your basic parabola. We've shifted it over and up, and there it is. So let's write our equation. y equals, now remember, it isn't vertically stretched at all, so we don't need a number in front of the parentheses. But we did move it to the left 6 units. So we are going to add 6 to x inside the parentheses. And then also. We shifted it up two units, so at the end of the equation, I'm going to put a plus two. And there's my equation for the parabola. All right, let's do two more. Here we go. Now, this one's an interesting one. So notice, the vertex normally starts at 0, 0, but we've shifted it to the right six units, and then we've shifted it up nine units. But then also notice, it's also flipped upside down. So we've got all three things going on here. So we've taken the parabola, we've shifted it, we've shifted it, and we've flipped it upside down. So we're going to have to pay attention to all those things today. One thing, though, notice that we didn't stretch it. It's still the same size as the original parabola. It's only flipped upside down. So my equation is going to be y equals now, like I said, it's not stretched. It's only flipped upside down, so I'm just going to make this a negative parentheses. All right? Now, it's moved to the right six units, so I'm going to do x minus 
6 inside the parentheses before I square it. And it's shifted up 9 units, so at the end of this equation, plus 9. And there is my equation. Notice this shows that it moves over to the right 6. This says it moves up 9. This says it's flipped upside down. All right, last one. Now this one, notice the vertex usually starts here, but it's been shifted over to the left three and then down four, all right? But there's one more thing you have to pay attention to on this one. See, if I move this three and down four, notice the, the parabola is different shaped than the original basic parabola, all right? So instead of from the vertex, the next point being over one up one, this parabola is over 1 up 2. And instead of over 1 up 3 for the next point, it's over 1 up 6. This one's been stretched vertically by a factor of 2. And that's why it's taller and skinnier than the basic one. So this one actually has a vertical stretch of 2. So that's going to come into play in our equation. y equals, like we just said, it has a stretch of 2. So that's going to go on the outside of the parentheses. We've shifted this to the left three units, so I'm going to add three to x before we square it. And then the last thing, it was shifted down four units, so I'm gonna subtract four at the end of the equation. There's my equation for that parabola. All right, so hopefully you're kind of getting the hang of this. Remember, there's three basic things you're looking for in order to write that equation. How much is it shifted horizontally? How much you're shifted vertically? and is there a vertical stretch? All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I'll see you next time.